Yes, that's right. I finally have the Solar Recluse. Second one is my PvE one, Dragonfly Feeding Frenzy. Next season, and we're talking next season as in like two or three weeks from now, this is this is gonna bang. This will this will be amazing. Trust me. Much like MTash used to say, I was wrong about the Death Adder. The multi-kill goodness, the endless explosions with Dragonfly, the fast reload to top it all off. No, we have a new contender for the best solar SMG. Of course, Bungie, you listen to my ranting and raving about this thing, and you add this. Behold, the new. <clears throat> the old new reprised Callus Mini Tool. A fan favorite, it's fair to say. Not for me personally at the time of its initial release, but that's okay. I can get behind a new, well, old, new, brand new to me. And I do have the ornament, so ha! I did play Menagerie in its heyday. See? I understand they're for sale nowadays, but I got it beforehand. Completely unrelated side note. Do you know what the new Warlock melee ability sound reminds me of? The bloody Nintendo Switch sound. You know, when you see a commercial for the Switch and it has the... <coughs> see? I cannot unhear it and now neither can you. Anyway, hi. The only SMG you will ever need. The Callus Mini Tool. Listen, I know what you're probably thinking already. My god, what an obnoxious title. And you know what? Didn't ask. Plus Adagio. Plus Incandescent. Which is exactly the main reason why this SMG is the new king. With Incandescent, after a kill, the enemy explodes and spreads a Scorch Burn to other enemies nearby and around. The TLDR of this perk here is Dragonfly without needing a headshot. But better. So already it's an extremely fun ad clearing machine in pretty much every activity you can think of and I don't mean just in the patrol activities not in only the nightmare containments but champion activities and all, end game content, raids easily. And considering there are artifact mods like revitalizing blast which when stunning a champion causes it to ignite like dude this build okay it's not really a build it's more or less me just showing you the sheer amount of ways you can use this SMG. Whether it is shredding endless ads and racking up hundreds of kills in no time at all, to clearing more high level content like nightfalls, raids, and still getting to enjoy using a weapon that genuinely feels powerful. Now, in a perfect world, I would have loved Feeding Frenzy plus Incandescent together, but Bungie were absolutely sure to not let that happen. So anyway, I crafted it and paired it with Threat Detector, and it has max reload speed using that instead. <laughs> But Heli, you're only killing red bar enemies. Don't care. <laughs> Isn't it great? Now, to be fair, I've seen other people not be too bothered with the reload speed and instead opting for something like unrelenting for an almost constant healing loop for every other kill. And of course, with the mini tools ability to blitz through hordes of enemies in no time at all, really. I can't fault that. Unrelenting is a pretty good shout. Definitely if you care less about reload and more on the survivability side of things. I've also seen quite a few people run with Grave Robber to melee the next enemy for a full reload for the magazine. It makes sense considering the close range you'll be to bad guys anyway that you're shooting. So I get it. Again, yeah. What am I saying? However, I can't say I'd recommend Slideways as you'll only be getting six to eight bullets back in your magazine per slide. And that's obviously with a cooldown. So unless I'm being a bit smooth brained here, which is perfectly possible, I do be a Titan main. In case I'm being silly with that take, in which case, let me know. It's a no out of 10 for me for Slideways, right now anyway. I'll get back to you on the Crucible side of things. And if you are for some reason not really liking or not really interested in Incandescent, there is fantastic synergy in Threat Detector paired with Surrounded, which all together would give you, let's see, max reload, smooth shooting and snappy handling paired with a 30% damage buff and considering you'll be close range pretty much all the time when in combat, that's a pretty solid and ongoing combo. Plus I'm obsessed with surrounded spec which turns a 30% buff into a whopping 45% if you have the enhanced surrounded perk chosen. Regardless of your choices, you'll shred and have such a fun time with this 
tool of destruction. <laughs> Get it? It's a mini tool. I'm such a loser. Anyway, join my Discord. All right, moving on. Here's a few perks you can use with it. Listen, this is not going to be some unbelievably efficient to the point loadout. It's what I run. It's very good. Of course, I'm a Titan main, so that's mainly what I'm going to be using here. But again, this is all aspect stuff. This is about the Soda 3.0 thing. So regardless of what class you run, this will work. I know the Bonk Hammer Titan is really popular right now. But this has nothing to do with it. Although, feel free to pair it with it. And you already know how this is going to start with Titans. Path of Burning Steps. If you don't already know these Titan exotic boots, firstly, get them. With immediate haste. Why? Well, here's why. They give a chunky version of Rampage to any solo weapon you get kills with. So damn right, you are getting a 35% damage buff while blowing up faces with incandescent. Throw on high energy fire for 20% damage buff also. And yes, build crafting, Bob. I know they don't stack. Don't worry, I've learned from my mistakes. But it's a good backup to have when you haven't got your burning steps procced. And hey, may as well maintain some sort of damage buff better than no buff at all and if you genuinely cannot be asked to get those fancy exotic boots for the titan perhaps a 40 percent damage buff without exotics sounds better to you but how you ask i know half of you probably already know this but shut up first of all with the classic high energy fire with the plus 20 percent damage bonus with charge of light plus throw on swift charge so smg kills get you charge of light which considering how many kills you're going to be getting with this thing it'll proc pretty often and then the other 25 percent radiant ah yes the brand new damage buff of solo 3.0 Nice to meet you. It's basically Empower, but renamed. I'll, I don't care, I'll take it. In short, put on these aspects and elements that I'm showing on the screen right now. This one alone makes your melee ability on any hit, not kill, just hit, activates Radiant, which lasts 15 seconds. Pair both buffs together and there you go. A fat 45% damage buff for your already pretty powerful SMG into a yellow bar shredder. And of course, like I said, you can pair Radiant plus High Energy Fire on all three characters. So go for it with whatever you're running and see how it feels when throwing these few mods and abilities on and just witness the yes out of 10 destruction and get back to me. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> all right. Literally while I'm recording this voice thing, Bungie just released the last aspect or last element thing. They just released it. And uh, what does it do? <clears throat> Solar weapon or ability final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant effects. Are you, are you sure, Bungie? I mean, all right, cool. This screams bonk hammer titan abusers to have an absolute field day with this one. There you have it. Throw that on now. So an almost never ending damage buff now. <laughs> Grab it at the tower right now. Anyway, yeah, there you have it. This has been a very weird video. An almost never ending damage buff. So long as you're getting kills with this beautiful SMG or your ability, Radiant is endless. And so long as you're getting kills, you'll keep getting your charge of light, which will give you your high energy fire. So endless 45% damage buff. That's with any solar weapon. So what even? Thank you all so much for watching. I keep hitting my desk. I'm so sorry. Give the mini tool a try and get back to me. It is wonderful. Let me know how you guys have been finding any of the menagerie weapons yourself. Mini tool your favorite? Happy Ostriger is back? Angry that Screeb still exists? Let me know. I hit my desk again. Damn it. Love your faces. Join my Discord if you haven't already. Check me out on Twitch. Catch me live sometime soon. Maybe now. Until next time though, guys. Love your faces. I've already said that. Damn it. Anyway, take care.